Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Stock Market Update video. And today we are looking at QQQ, SMB 500, NVIDIA, Tesla, Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Meta. So right now we have um, Google and Microsoft just reporting its earnings. You can see currently Google is up 5% after hours. It beat across the board. And we have Microsoft beat as well, but Microsoft is currently down uh, slightly 1.7%. It was a little bit lower, but it bounced. And but we take a look at this chart in a second after we break down QQQ. And QQQ also um, has a slight green reaction, obviously, because Google is up. And Meta is also up as well, even though it is reporting its earnings tomorrow. But uh, Google's ad revenue beat. So Meta is an advertising company and is currently um, bouncing from its sympathy play. So it means uh, people in Meta are expecting Meta beating on its ad revenue as well because of Google beating. So we'll see if Meta can do that tomorrow. Its implied volatility for Meta is going to be 10%. So we'll see. As well as tomorrow, we're going to have the FOMC meeting. So that's going to be dictating uh, a lot how the market is going to move. And of course, 25 basis point is already priced in. And we'll just have to see what Jerome's uh, Q&A is going to be like. Take a look on the daily chart. So daily chart, potentially, this could be setting the um, lower high, I mean this low. A high of this pivot is going to be lower than uh, this pivot. That could potentially shape up a downtrend if we do break Monday's low. But uh, right now, we don't have that uh, any signs of that shaping up yet. As of, um, I want to see at least some form of a 15-minute downtrend or an hourly before I can confidently say that could potentially be the lower high being set. So now we don't even have a, um, a five-minute downtrend, but it's not that big of a deal or anything. So let's take a look. Tomorrow we'll see if um, you can break above this 380 zone and close above the 380 zone. We tried it. We did go above 380 a couple times, but we haven't closed above it. So we'll see if that's going to be the case. Obviously, Google, Meta, and um, Microsoft, we'll see what their earnings call is going to be. That would also dictate the directions of the stock. Um, usually the earning calls gives them more information on their earnings. So if we do um, set this daily higher though here, it is a good chance for the bears to form a downtrend. As of now, it's still it's not a bear flag anymore because we're above, um, they go above 0 0.382. Technically, you say it's a rejection, you say it's, we're still in a bear flag, but um, we'll see. As long as we the bears do stay below the 50% mark. It's still favoring them, uh, the bears, for another downside. Potentially test this low. But if we do bounce, or the bulls bounce above this 50% mark, 381, then it's going to start favoring the bulls on the next drop where it can form um, a higher low, meaning higher than this low, the pivot low. So we'll see what happens. So tomorrow is pretty much the key. Tomorrow's going to shape up. Um, Someone's going to be the day that it either it favors the bull or favors the bear in the next couple of days. Um, so we'll see if it bounces over this 0 0.382 line. All right, let's take a look at SPY. SPY, yesterday I talked about it being a bull flag on the daily while QQ is weak. Uh, SPY held up and it's forming a bull flag. We got some follow through today and we broke above the prior 52 high, but not much follow through after we breaking the uh, 52 high. Take a look what it looked like. So I broke with QQ around the same time, and QQ ended up pulling back with it. So some weakness there. So not huge of a red flag. Um, I didn't say it's a it's 0.27% drop. So yeah, not a big of a deal. Um, even though we did break above prior high, not a lot of follow through. It's probably just because people are waiting for earnings and FOMC meeting. They don't want to just FOMO into a 52 hike um, range. So there was just a little bit of selling into the end of the day. Not that big of a deal. Oh, daily, hourly, four hour, weekly, monthly is still an uptrend for SPY. So everything is intact. So no structural changes for SPY that are any kind of red flags at all at the moment. And QQQ looks like it's bouncing. Um, so if a spy looked like this, I would be a lot more worried, but at the moment, uh, no big deal. 
long as sectors money keep rotating around, there is no red flags and fear in the market. If QQ drops and um, healthcare sector and financial sector goes up, then that's not that big of a deal. As long as money keeps rotating around the market. All right, take another video. Same thing with QQQ. Looking for that. Uh, bears will be looking for this be a lower high being set. And bulls would want to negate it and close above the 50. So this is not a bear flag anymore because we close above the 0 0.382. But uh, bulls definitely want to close above the 50 for them to favor the bulls on the next drop. Do turn around here, then it's going to start favoring the bears because we're still below the 50 mark. And that will likely retest the 440s. And we'll see. And Texas Instrument reported its earnings after hours, the semis. And let's take a look. It's okay. So it's down two and a half percent after hours. It's going to affect the semis a little bit tomorrow. We'll see. Um, Nvidia is down that 0.515. Not that big of a deal. But see today, it was strong in the morning. And all I did was chop around sideways for the whole day. Wow. B, QQQ was pending up the whole day. So there's a little bit of relative weakness here today on the video. Um, it was relatively strength in the morning. So I guess it, you know, used up all the strength and then just kind of went sideways for the rest of the day while QQQ continued to trend up. But uh, we'll see if. Um, this sideways range ends up breaking bearish tomorrow. And then uh, we're going to be coming down to test this 450 if that happens. Well, I already kind of did after hours because of Texas Instruments and each report, but this little 0 0.15 is not going to be meaningful to me until we see a market open. I want to see uh, cash opens tomorrow. If you trade below it, then, then I'll say we're coming to 450. But, and it's still intact or it's in a daily uptrend, weekly and monthly uptrend. And a four hour is still in a downtrend. Eh. See here. You could argue here we had a um, four uptrend change back to the bulls. Or you can say it's one move, and on if you look at pre-market or um, after hours, depending on how you look at your data. But I want to see a clear trend change um, into daily. So daily is going to be the most important for me. Still in the daily uptrend. The last pivot we had is over here, and now this is the new pivot right now. So if bears can break below this uh, 440, we have a daily downtrend confirming. Maybe a super key tomorrow where the pivot battle is between this zone, that 50% mark that I showed earlier. It's definitely going to be um, battling against here. If you had another green day tomorrow, close above here, then it's going to start favoring the bulls on continuation of the all time high, just like we have back here. Every time we drop, every time we drop, it always favors the bulls because of the size of the retracement. It's not that much. And the bounce is always um, much higher. So we. If it continues to be higher, 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 higher. So now, as long as the bears cannot prove to us that we can form a daily downtrend, there won't be significant selling. Let's take a look at Tesla. Now, Tesla is the weakest. So if every tech stock starts shaping on like this, we have a significant drop, bounce, and then we start to get weakened. You know, and just like if Nvidia tomorrow forms that red candle like Tesla. And chances of it breaking the low pivot increases a lot, and that would form a daily downtrend. So we'll see um, if that happens or not. Let's take a look. So you see, Tesla is down 1.4% today, while QQQ was up 0.7%. That's relatively weak. Full time, QQQ was bouncing. Um, Tesla was forming downtrends. Early downtrend confirmed right there. Again, so. Significant bounce, but no trend changes. Now we have an hourly trend change back to the bears. So Tesla, I would say, is the most bearish. 
um, chart looking chart at the moment for the big techs. Apple, nothing. Another inside bar again. So inside yesterday's bar and another inside bar from the previous day. Not much going on. Looks like it's just tightening up into a equilibrium and it will likely break pretty soon. Same thing, EMA 12 is gonna be our guide. And we'll just continue to, it's a daily EMA 12, it's a support, it's a steel looking line. So I have to type exponential moving average and type 12, and we'll get the uh, EMA 12, as well as this two day. As long as the one day doesn't break, it's not gonna even test the two day. So still in full, full control on Apple. But I still starting to get a little bit, you know, wiki on the top here. So we'll see if it's gonna be, this is gonna be a distribution zone or accumulation zone. And it's starting to feel a little bit like a distribution zone to me though. Um, so we have to be a little bit cautious. I'm starting to sideways chop range. So you can um, set your stop losses below the EMA 12s and the chop zones as well. Uh, or potentially take some profit if you are looking for. As of now, no signs of red flags yet. So no need to worry hourly chart is still intact so Amazon also pretty weak um, especially when at this break above the prior structure right there and it came back right below it and we're closing in the low of the day low of that structure as long as Amazon can hold this they will be okay but, uh, this um, one two nine. So far, we held it three times, and potentially, if it continues to hold, then we'll be probably bouncing back up here to test this one three one. Is my guess, uh, because this was the level that they want to test. Although we tested it yesterday and we reject from it, that was a little bit rough. Like, but if we do continue to hold this one two um, nine, it's gonna bounce back up to retest that level again, and potentially form a chart drop zone now it's very weak very very weak you can see how tight it is now falling wedge that's pretty much at the end of this pattern so it's going to break tomorrow with the sides if it bounce tomorrow then bulls are likely going to chip that up because we're probably going to break this probably even in pre-market tomorrow so let's see which way it wants to break Four hours, yeah, still very weak. If we do break here, we're coming back down to this 127 for sure. See all these zones support right here, all these resistance. This level is gonna be strong. Google, another 2%, so it's now 6% after hours after it's um, beat across the board. So let's take a look where it is trading. So it broke above pretty much all of his resistance and it's just doing his price discovery. So right now it's probably just gonna go around until it finds some strong resistance for it to form. But we are now in this structure where um, this all time high structure. So that's the low of the all time high structure be 133. We haven't tested that yet. We got close to it by $2, but not yet. So we are seeing if there's anything here. If it doesn't make sense, we are testing this level. And resistance to this 131 zone. Right there. Some, reje some rejections here, some rejections here, as well as some here. So that's gonna be the zone. We'll be looking at 131 to 133 zone for Google. Let's see where it's testing. Yep, makes sense. Tested that, touched 131, and we'll see. Also, it's gonna, the rest of the moves probably gonna be dictated by the earnings call, so we'll see how it happens then. And let's take a look at Microsoft. So Microsoft recovered most of his losses, so. Now this candle just makes the chart so much uh, harder to look at. But uh, similar. Chop zones. It does look like a um, four-hour head and shoulders right here, but this was a break 
for the head and shoulders neckline, right? And it's not much follow through, but it's earning. So it's not that um, significant for me, for that, that pattern of the break. Alice and out, um, earnings catalyst is going to outshine this, just this head and shoulder pattern. So, let's see. But it's testing um, this all, prior all time high structure, this blue line. So if we do close above 350, then that's a good sign for the bulls. But if we do come back down here, we're going to be testing this um, 342 again. Look how many times we bounce off of that, right? Four times. I think count this as the fifth time. So as long as the uh, bulls hold above three, 342, it's no big deal for Microsoft. Um, let's see. KQQ is up 0.3 after hours. Okay. All right, Meta. So Meta, sympathy play, just talked about it earlier because of advertising, but they're going to be reporting tomorrow, so it's not going to have fireworks um, today. And it will have fireworks tomorrow. And let's take a look on this daily. This daily chart also seems to be forming like a head and shoulders, but that after hours, um, I've broken above. We break about the, the uh, neckline. Yeah, sort of. I'm going to say this is a clear break of that um, zone. If market opens tomorrow and we break above this uh, 300 zone, then it's a good sign that uh, bulls would want to test 305. I'm not going to say we're going to test 313 because this earnings is tomorrow. So bulls are going to be cautious while they're buying up tomorrow if we do break above 300. We're going to test this 305 first. We're always going to drop sideways until earnings. So. Yep. So if this drop is significant now, we're, if we do reject from that 300, we're going to start forming a uh, daily downtrend if we break this Monday's pivot as well. Because this looks like a bear flag still to me. Yep. So as long as we don't break above 0 0.382, this 300 level, which also coincides with the bear flag, we are going to form a bear flag if we reject from 300. And then it also depends on course is earnings right even if we reject from it drop tomorrow and then meta reports really good earnings boom right nothing under that that none of that would matter but of course if really you know report not so great earnings then it's gonna get a confirmed flag and it's gonna get more follow through because technicals and um news at the same time going in the same direction will increase its momentum we'll see which way meta is gonna report the earnings Right, let's take a look. Google still 6%. All right, that's all I got for you guys. And uh, thanks for being here. And if you guys got any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. And if you guys learn anything, feel free to um, share, like, and subscribe. As always, appreciated. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another update. And uh, make sure to know that FOMC is tomorrow at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.